Welcome back to another episode. We just pulled up into a campsite here at a state park. We are back in Kansas, but we have something else with us today. Brought a little boat. Me and my buddy just got done fishing, so we just put the boat on the trailer. We left our home area around, I don't know, six o'clock this morning. Got on the water about quarter to eight and just got off the water at around a little after four. So it wasn't a remarkable day by any means. Caught some wipers and he hooked a nice small mouth but lost it at the boat and I hooked a little small mouth that we landed in the boat. So I'll give you a tour of where we're at, what our view is. But first, after being on the lake all day fishing, I am parched, so we're gonna grab ourselves a beverage. So we have a uh, different beer today, a Florida orange IPA. See if it says anything on to it. A juicy orange flavor swims with citrusy, aromatic hops in this Florida-inspired IPA. So it is, um, Brewed in St. Petersburg, Florida. I picked it up when we were in Florida. Actually, the real Mrs. K picked it up for me when she went shopping. It's 6.9% by volume for alcohol. You know, if you've watched my videos, I try to find and stick to gluten-free beers because gluten rips me up, but um, we're gonna give it a shot. Why not? We were in Florida, we might as well. Maybe uh, opening this will bring warm weather with it. Although it's really warm out now, it's 62, so not bad for Kansas, but I'll give you a weather check here in a little bit but let's try this florida orange ipa it's actually not bad it tastes like an ipa i don't really taste a lot of orange flavor into it which is not a bad thing because i don't know if i want orange juice beer but it's pretty good it'll tear me up tomorrow but it's a little bitter but again it's an ipa so it it drinks so i'll give you just a quick run around of the campsite where we're where we're camping we've camped here once before um this year but we wanted to fish this lake just to see smallmouth were were biting and what the water temperature was so the water temperature was a blazing 44 degrees when we were fishing it today so still pretty cold but here's the site standard picnic table standard fire pit and then you can see with the boat and the truck so this is actually a pull through site which is pretty handy when you have the boat on here um, I mean I don't have a problem backing it up into a spot but it was here it was available it wasn't being used and then you can see so I'm standing by the fire pit right now you can see into the Sun here that down there's the lake so there's a there's a couple people that are a couple campers down the way camper van uh, a tent and another fifth wheeler that are down but i'm starving i've only had uh, some meat sticks and some cheese sticks out on the boat so i'm gonna get a fire started right now so that we can get dinner a uh, cooking As the fire is burning down to some coals that we can cook on, let me give you a uh, quick weather check on where we are for the current temperature and where we're going for today. So right now it's 61 degrees, real feel of 60 or 59 degrees, so it's a little bit windy. Tonight the low is 37 with a real feel of 29. And then let me see what the hour looks like. So looks like between 12 and 2 a.m. there's a 68% chance that we're going to get a little bit of rain no big deal and then wake up time you know 37 39 ish so and i brought stuff to do a bigger breakfast so i'm going to do hopefully that's the plan anyway the plan is to do um a little bit bigger of a breakfast than just the normal yogurt and then because you know i have time before i got to be home and then depending on the weather and how the wind is after breakfast i may go back out fishing for a little while so but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go fishing or if I'm if I'm gonna go out by myself or if I'm just gonna head home from from the morning so I'll make that determination tomorrow morning and then go from there so it's it's a pretty pleasant day it's gonna get a little bit chilly it's no big deal I brought the heater with us so we can plug that in I, I thought I was done with the 20 degree sleeping bag when we got to Tennessee 
I was able to pack it away that morning and we were in Florida and it was beautiful and I was in shorts and then you know mother nature gave me a big sledgehammer to the face as I came back to reality in Kansas and when we were coming back from Florida so I didn't camp on the way back from Florida um, my family came down to Florida the week after me and they so they rented a car and drove down and then we convoyed back from my parents back to back to Kansas through Illinois Illinois and I want to say maybe into Missouri there was snow showers like it was not cool it was not cool at all so I would much prefer I think the um, shorts and flip-flop weather than the snow weather but it's almost over before long we'll be complaining about how hot it is and such is life it's nice that the time has changed so that we get a little more daylight that's great it makes it so much easier to get meals prepared to be able to film what what's for dinner so i was in florida for two weeks and i, I did find that in your apple music Yo. library you can ask me to play a radio station or ask that's because i don't have an apple music library honey pie so anyway i'm gonna keep feeding this fire we're gonna get the coals build up and then um i'm gonna enjoy a beverage or two more probably while the while the coals are building up and sit here and watch the sun going down and overlook the lake. I will see you guys when it's time to get out everything and let you know what we're cooking for dinner. Stay tuned. All right, so the fire's burned down. We got some coals built up. Um, it's good enough that we can start prepping dinner and then it'll be perfect when we get everything done. So let's go over to the picnic table. I'll grab some stuff out of the truck and we'll start putting together tonight's dinner. All right, I think we got everything. Here we go. All right, we're gonna do one of my favorite things, which is a foil pack onto the fire. So obviously we'll start out with a good sized chunk of aluminum foil. So tonight we are going to attempt to make a shrimp foil boil. So we got uh, some ears of corn here. So we're going to chop this up. All right, let's do two. Let's do two ears. We're gonna we're gonna jam this right full. We're gonna jam it right full of everything that we could possibly jam it full of. All right, so we got ear and a half of corn. We're gonna chop up some zucchini put that in there just a little bit of this so we're going to cut it into about three quarter inch slices just a little bit of that and then we're going to just quarter it we'll throw that in there maybe maybe one more then we have some just baby potatoes and uh, i will confess that these baby potatoes i cooked for about five minutes on the stove last night before i came out camping just because they would take longer than everything else and I wanted them to have a head start. So they're pretty much, they're pretty much done. They just need to be warmed up. So we got our potatoes in there and then we have just some smoked sausage. I don't know how you say it. Andouille, I don't know. You tell me. But it's smoked sausage, it's pre-cooked so it just has to be heated as well. This is gonna be a quick meal. So we're gonna grab a chunk of this. We're gonna slice some of this up gonna be a big foil pack it should only take eight minutes or so to cook so we're gonna throw the sausage on here and around here get everything piled into this aluminum foil and then our last ingredient is just some raw shrimp these ones happen to be uh, they have the tails on you could do tails off tails on it doesn't really matter I don't think but I got a I don't know how much I brought I just grabbed some out of the we had some in the freezer, so I grabbed a bunch out. Probably way more than, than I should have. This is a pile of food. You would think that I was probably feeding four or five people, but it's just me. And then, so we're gonna put a little bit of butter in here with it. When I say a little bit, probably, I don't know, three quarters of the stick or so. Who has time to measure? We'll put like four pads of butter in here to get everything cooked nice. Yeah, let's do five. Let's just, I don't wanna be short. I don't wanna be short, you know? So we'll put five of that in there. And then the last thing is uh, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. So it says, the recipe I saw online said like a teaspoon or something like that. Well, guess what? I don't have teaspoons, so that's way too much, but it's gonna be uh, 
It's gonna be seasoned. We'll, we'll scrape some of that off and clean it up later. All right, so now we're just gonna try to put everything in here to into this foil pack, fold it up best we can to get it all in here. And then we'll put more on it to make sure that it's all nice and sealed. We'll put a couple more. That's probably good right there, to be honest with you. So let's go over and put this on the fire, get it cooking. We'll probably, it says eight to 10 minutes. We'll probably go 15 and we'll flip it a few times just to make sure everything cooked through. Obviously we want the shrimp to cook through. Um, everything else that's in there is pretty much ready to go. I mean, the corn shouldn't take very long. The zucchini won't take very long. If that's undercooked, it's no big deal. I'm not really a big fan of undercooked shrimp. So let's go over to the fire, get this put on and we'll get this ready to eat for dinner. Set a timer for four minutes. So we'll just four do, minutes. we'll do four minutes, we'll yeah. flip it, we'll do four minutes, we'll flip it, we'll do four more minutes, pull it off, we'll see what it looks like. Worst case scenario, we put it back on for a little longer, but um, we'll see how it goes. I love seafood, I love seafood boils. Never attempted to do one on a campfire, so we'll see how it turns out, but I'm guessing it'll be okay. So I'm gonna get this mess taken care of, everything back into the cooler, cause it's not gonna go to waste. It's probably be my dinner for tomorrow night. I'll come up with something that I'm going to cook at home when I get back from camping. And I'll be back with you guys when we're ready to flip over the shrimp foil boil. All right, just like that, we just got the table cleaned up behind me, got everything put away. Still trying to get Old Bay seasoning off me. The alarm just went off, so let's uh, flip the camera around and flip this bad boy around. I should probably have my gloves for this, but that's all right. Oh, she's gonna be nice and warm. There we go. So we'll do another set of timer for four minutes. Once dinner's done, we'll get the uh, fire stoked back up. And Mrs. K bought me a fold-up table. So I think maybe we'll set the fold-up table up. We'll eat on that instead of the picnic table that's got a bunch of bird crap on it. And then get that fire stock, stoked back up. Docked back up? Come on, Scott. We'll get that fire stoked back up and get some warmth going and then Probably the sun will be down and it'll be it'll be time to retire to the truck, watch a little bit of YouTube, figure out what the plan is for tomorrow, and then crash out for the night. All right, last timer going off. I'm gonna flip it real quick while I get everything else set up, but it should be it should be good to go. So I'm gonna grab the table, get that set up. We'll open it up real quick, look at it, make sure everything looks like it's done. Shrimp really is all I am concerned about that it looks like it's done. And if it is, we'll flip this grate up, put some wood on here, get this fire stoked back up because it's chilling off. If it's not, we'll pack it back up, put it back on the fire. So let's get this onto the table. Warm. Okay, let's just open this bad boy up. We'll see. Grab one of these shrimpies and see she's done all right put a little bit of wood on the fire i'm gonna open this up try to keep it as mess free as possible and then i'm gonna give you guys a better shot of this and i'm gonna grab myself some paper towels because i'm already a mess fire's taking off really good so i can feel the heat from over here so that's pretty incredible but this is a lot of food i always cook too much but what are you gonna do all right so i already had one of the one of the shrimp but it's cooked pretty good we'll try a little bit of the of the sausage oh that sausage is a, is amazing i was a little worried about how the seasoning would go through everything when you just dump it on top but flipping it around with the butter that was in there it got through everything perfectly so so far so good a little bit of the zucchini I mean, the zucchini still has a little bit of a crunch to it. It's not raw, it's not mushy. So it's probably just about pretty close to perfect. Could have been maybe a little bit longer on there. Would have been better, but the potatoes with cooking them, boiling them in some water before I came out, that helped a lot. They're perfectly done. And I guess the last thing I gotta try to get in here is get some of this corn out. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, the corn is hot. We'll give this corn a little bit of a try. The corn is perfect, amazing. It's got great flavor. Me and my kids love doing seafood boils at home. Like I said, this is the first time I've attempted to do it on a campfire. I will be making this again for sure. That fire is putting out some serious heat right now. 
So I realized when I was putting the uh, Old Bay seasoning on, when I opened it up, the top pulled off. So when I was shaking it out, it wasn't just a shaker, it was dumping it out on there. And uh, this is a little spicy, but I wouldn't say it's overwhelming. I mean, it's spicy and I should probably go over and get my beer, but it's not bad. And that sausage has a little bit of spice to it as it is. So I would definitely make this again. I think that the uh, shrimp could have used just a little bit more time cooking. They're not bad and they're pink, so they're cooked, but a little bit more would have been okay. And I think making sure that I control the amount of Old Bay seasoning. There's a little bit too much Old Bay seasoning in here, which makes it really spicy. This is a lot of food, folks. I'm telling you, I gotta find, I gotta find someone to come camping with me so that they can eat half of the dinners I prepare. I'm actually surprised at how well I like the zucchini, how well it came out. All right, so I'm going to sit here and finish this meal, finish what I can of it. There's no way I'm going to eat all of this food. There's just way too much here. Why don't you go grab yourself a bevraji, join me over by the fire, and just relax before we call it a night and jump into the truck. Crack open a beverage. I hope you're enjoying the campfire the lake in the background. As much as I am, I can't think of a more relaxing way to spend an evening than to be in a campsite, pretty much alone, quiet, listening to the birds chirp. Every once in a while back there in the lake, I'll see fish come up, which is ironic because I couldn't catch any of those fish today. All right, the fire, as you can see, is just down the embers, so it's good enough. We can watch it from in the truck, but it is dark out. It's getting chilly out, so we're going to hop into the truck and uh, get ourselves organized and then watch some YouTube videos, and I have to download a whole bunch of footage onto the laptop so that I have memory cards available for tomorrow just in case I happen to decide to go out and do some fishing. I'll be able to run the cameras because you never know when you're going to have that great day on the water and you want to capture it. Let's get some lights on in here. There we go. Usually I use my GoPro inside here with the wide angle lens, but I forgot my GoPro tripod. I didn't forget it. I purposely took it out of my bag because I was like, I'm not going to need this. And it's laying on the counter at home. So we have to make do with what we have. This place is a disaster in here. What a day. It's been a long day. All right, all into my jammies. I got most everything situated and organized here. So I got the iPad fired up. I got my computer fired up to start downloading some footage, which will probably take, oh geez, I don't know, two hours to get that done. So I'm just going to uh, call it a night and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning. Whew, I slept in. It's uh, a little later than normal. I know last night I had uh, good intentions of starting a fire this morning and cooking breakfast outside around the fire, but it is like the feel, the real feel temperature is about 27. The real temperature is, and my watch won't open up, that's it. So right now the real feel is 33, so it's warmed up a little bit, but I'm not gonna deal with it. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear the tent blowing back and forth, but the wind's up pretty high, so, and we're just gonna cook breakfast in the truck just a pretty simple normal breakfast well i don't know what normal is just a pretty basic breakfast got some bacon got some eggs some toast and and some potatoes so i didn't use all the potatoes in the shrimp foil bowl yesterday so we're gonna throw that in there some butter got some coffee going i think that's pretty much ready so for coffee we're still working through the uh, starbucks medium roast Oh, way too strong. Way too much. That's all right. So last night I was downloading footage and when I put the last SD card from the final camera in, I had intention of 
continuing to watch YouTube videos for a little while longer and next thing you know it was two o'clock in the morning and the footage downloaded but the computer was still on and it was bright so we'll see how smoky it gets in here I'm hoping I got the window open so hopefully it'll oh yeah she's gonna suck it out suck it out and while the bacon's cooking I'm just gonna slice these potatoes up a little bit basically turn them into some home fries I didn't grab my salt and pepper out of the back seat of the truck so no salt and pepper but that's all right to soak up some of that bacon grease. Alright, I think we're going to pull the bacon, throw it in some paper towel, just to get some of the grease off it, keep it a little bit warm while we're waiting for potatoes to cook up a little bit more. A couple of eggs. Well, my eggs stuck together, so we're just going to flip them as one. There we go. Broke it oak. Broke my oak. Not good. Did not want to break my yolk, man. Try to squeeze in some bread on here. Eggs off from here. Yes. Taters. There, we're getting a little bit of toast on it now. All right, so breakfast. It's not uh, the most convenient thing to uh, cook or eat inside of here. I would tell you that for a fact. It's doable. I would have been better off putting on my puffy jacket and going outside. I was really hoping that the uh, weather was going to be a little bit better today because I wanted to I wanted to go fishing, but I'm not going to go out again today and freeze. And the other thing is, is that I got a little bit of sun yesterday, and I can feel it in my face, in the back of my neck, and I don't have sunscreen in my boat. Probably best that I don't fish today. Oh man! So all in all, it was a good breakfast. The uh, bacon was perfect. The eggs were cooked a little too long. They weren't over medium like I like, so they didn't have a lot of uh, burning yolk. Butter was too hard to spread on the toast, but the toast came out okay. Potatoes are always good. So it was definitely a uh, upgrade from the standard yogurt that I typically have. And I think I'm gonna get these windows closed now. So I'm gonna get uh, everything put away. I'm gonna have to move the camera so I can get out the back to get the skillet and put it outside just because I don't want it to uh, spill. I want it to cool down fully before I leave. Get everything, all the extra stuff that we didn't use put away. And then uh, I think we'll make the uh, truck ready for travel and we'll probably hit the road. That wraps up another successful trip had a lot of fun yesterday fishing all day in the boat with my buddy Jeff um, camping was awesome camping's always awesome so nice fire it was a warmer day for this time of the year in this area the shrimp foil boil was pretty good a little less uh, Old Bay seasoning on it next time and it would be perfect I think we'll definitely do that one more at least one more time and try to perfect the recipe so all in all it was a great trip thank you for joining me and i look forward to seeing you on the next adventure